okay a very good morning children children uh, in the previous class we completed everything about your application of percentage profit loss formula for profit loss profit percent loss percent cp and sp then also we discussed many things about uh, your simple interest okay so let us uh, apply our understanding of those things what we discussed in previous classes into problem suppose there is a question you see i am discussing one question suppose the salary of a person you see suppose the salary of a person just i am writing in brief salary of a person suppose is increased increases by say 15% increases by say 15% you see If the salary of a person increases by 15%, if it is increased by 15%, and after increase, if his salary, if his salary now is salary now is say rupees uh, 9936, 9906, 36. 9, you see. After increase of fifteen percent, you see. After increase of fifteen percent, if the salary of the person becomes nine thousand nine hundred thirty-six, then what was his initial salary? Try to understand this. Then what was his initial salary? This is the question. Let us discuss. Okay. Once again, I am explaining the question. The salary of a person it increased by what percent? By fifteen percent. That means whatever was the, we do not know what was the initial salary of the person. What was the initial salary of the person? We do not know. We simply know that it is increased means raised. It is increased by fifteen percent. And after increase of fifteen percent, what is uh, his new salary? The new salary becomes nine nine three six nine thousand nine hundred. 36 so if 9936 rupees is his new salary after the increment of 15% then what was his initial salary okay now children how to solve this type of question this type of question can be solved in many ways okay one of the ways unitary method we can use unitary method we can also use the concept of what linear equation by using linear equation also we can solve okay now because using linear equation is less time taking And unitary method is more time taking. Okay, let us do it by unitary method first. Okay, let us see how to do this. We have to solve this and find the initial salary of the person. We do not know what is the initial salary. Suppose initial salary by unitary method. If you follow unitary method, you have to take suppose the initial salary of the person is say rupees hundred. You see, let so let us assume. Let us assume that let initial salary be rupees. Hundred. Okay. Now, if the initial salary is hundred rupees, what is the increment given? It increment given is fifteen percent. Okay. Now, if increment is fifteen percent, you see, if increment is fifteen percent, that means the, this fifteen percent will be on this hundred rupees the initial salary because increment is given on the salary or the initial salary. So that means it is fifteen percent of hundred, and you know what is fifteen percent of hundred? It will be fifteen by hundred into hundred. Okay, and it will be how many rupees? Fifteen rupees. See, so the increment is fifteen percent. Means it is just rupees fifteen. If the initial salary is hundred, okay. Now if the initial salary is hundred and the increment is fifteen rupees, so what will be the new salary then? First, we have to find out what is the new salary. What will be the new salary? And how to get the new salary? Definitely, you have to add this increment with the initial salary because hundred rupees was the initial salary and this is the increased amount. Or the increase increment. So if the increment is added to the initial salary, then only we will get the new salary of the person. Okay. So therefore, what will be new salary? You see. So new salary will be definitely hundred plus fifty. That is rupees hundred fifty. Now see children. This is the new salary. But what is our aim? Our aim is to find the initial salary. We got the new salary. Okay. Now see this new salary hundred fifteen is on what initial salary? Definitely, this is the new salary on this initial salary. That means when the new salary is hundred fifteen, initial salary is what hundred? We are now doing by unitary method, so we have to do like this. So when new salary, so what will be my next step? When new salary, you see, when new salary 
equal to rupees how much? Hundred fifteen. What is the initial salary? Initial salary equal to rupees how much? It is hundred. Then in what is the new salary given? You see, the new salary is given nine thousand nine hundred thirty-six. You see. When new salary is hundred fifteen, initial salary unitary method. In unitary method, keep the keep the unknown quantity. I mean, whose value you want to find, keep it in the right hand side. You know, unitary method. It was there in class six. Ratio proportion and unitary method. So, because we want to find the initial salary, it is the unknown quantity and it must be kept in the right. And new salary is the given quantity, so it must be kept in the left in unitary method. So when new salary is hundred fifteen, initial salary is hundred. Okay. Now, now when new salary, therefore, when new salary equal to rupees equal to rupee one, what will be the initial salary? Is initial salary? It will be hundred by hundred fifteen. And when new salary equal to how much given? It is given nine nine three six nine nine three six. What will be the initial salary? Initial salary we have to find out. We have to find the initial salary. It is hundred by hundred fifteen into nine thousand nine hundred thirty six. Now you do the calculation. Okay. Now I think it will be cancelled by twenty three. Twenty three five is your one hundred fifteen. Then twenty three you cancel it. Twenty three four is ninety two. Ninety-two seven seven and three is seventy-three. Twenty-three three is sixty-nine four. It is two four hundred thirty-two. Okay. Now again this will be cancelled. Hundred and five will be twenty. So four thirty-two into twenty. It will be how much? It will be equal to your four thirty-two into two. It will be eight six four zero. You see, rupees eight thousand C. Rupees eight thousand six hundred forty. This will be the initial salary. When the new salary is nine hundred nine thousand nine hundred thirty six, the initial salary is this much. And this was our question to find the initial salary. So the pers the initial salary of the person was rupees eight thousand six hundred forty six hundred forty before the increment of fifteen percent. Before he was allowed. Before he was given. An increment of fifteen percent. His initial salary was, you see, eight thousand six hundred forty. So, children, tell me in this particular question, we solve this particular question using the concept of what? Using the concept of unitary method. But we can also do using linear equation. Okay, that is not necessary. Uh, it is up to you which method you will follow. Okay. So, this is one of the applications, children. I hope you understood this problem. How I how I solved it? I think you understood. Using the concept of unitary method. Okay, we will discuss more problems also in the next class. Thank you.